Hey guys, this is Judy from P4P, and we are about to release our Take the Plunge swimsuit, which we're super excited about. One question I saw a whole lot on our swimsuit last year was um, doing the elastic. So I'm going to show you how to do the leg elastic on any swimsuit. Um, we do give a leg elastic measurement. Um, I prefer the cotton swimwear. Um, let's see, I have... I buy it in giant rolls, but you can buy it um, at Joann's usually too. This is quarter inch. On legs, we use three eighths, so I'm using three eighths. If you don't have a leg measurement in the pattern that you're using, generally you do not stretch around the front and then you stretch rather tightly around the booty curve and that will keep it nice and tucked under the booty. So I'm going to do a wide zigzag to connect my two ends into a circle. Um, I don't like to overlap them, I just butt them together and I use a really wide zigzag to connect them. It's going to be stitched two times and so really you're just tacking it. You can go wild um, making it a really strong seam but really you just need a little tack in place because it's going to be stitched to the leg two more times. I am going to show you both on the serger and on the sewing machine how to attach. So I'll go ahead and do the sewing machine first since that's where I'm sitting. Here's my swimsuit. So here it is right sides. I'm going to turn it sideways. So here's the crotch seam. Here's the top and the big leg curve. Here's the booty. Okay, so I have my two seams. I'm going to start at the bottom seam for this side. And I'm going to go down the front because you do not stretch the front. So I'm just going to go down the front and then when I get to this seam to the booty I'm going to stretch it to fit what's left. You want to attach it to the wrong side. I keep my swimsuit right sides out and I just sew to the inside. I find that more comfortable. I had it on a super wide zigzag, so I'm just changing that back. You want the edge of your elastic right on the edge of your fabric. So my swimsuit's lined, the dark teal is the main, and then the light teal is a lining. Um, but even if it wasn't lined, still the same, right to the edge of the fabric. And again, you don't stretch. A lot of seamstresses prefer attaching their elastic on a regular sewing machine, even if they have a serger. goes a little slower, you can make sure you're nice and accurate with those edges. And those curves. It, it also has a little bit less bulk when you use a serger. All those threads on your serger can add some bulk that you might not want. Okay, so I'm to the booty curve, so I sewed around the front without stretching. Um, so now you can see that I have a lot more swimsuit than elastic. And swim elastic, by the way, if you try to use regular elastic, swim elastic stretches a lot more than a regular elastic. So not only does swim elastic last in chlorine, but it also has a completely different stretch. So I really, really don't recommend trying to use regular elastic on swimwear. 
So now that I'm stretching, I'm just gonna hold my swimsuit in the back. I'm not pulling. You should never ever pull your fabric through your machine. Always let it pull through with the feed dogs. But I'm just gonna hold it to make sure it's got a little bit of tension and it's moving forward. So I can see. Here's the right side, wrong side. So this is the front. You can see I didn't stretch it. It's nice and smooth. Even though you're not stretching, you still want it, I always say pulled taut, but not stretching anything. So if you ease your elastic in, meaning you're pushing the elastic, you're going to get waves, and you don't want that. You don't want it looser than your front. You want it exactly the same. On the back you can see I pulled rather tightly and it's gathered. But don't worry when it's on your body it's going to stretch out and it will not look gathered. I'm just going to trim my threads. Okay now I'm just going to do the exact same thing on my serger. I often use my serger to attach just because it's just a tiny bit faster and I'm a speed demon. I'm going to turn. I like to turn my knife off since I'm not cutting anything off. Just putting those edges up. Again, I'm going to start at the seam, and I'm going to do the front first. Again, I like to turn my knife off because I don't want to accidentally snip anything on those curves. And I'll try I'll try to show what I was talking about earlier that you want it to be taut. So you're not pulling your fabric. It's just lying there. And your swimsuit elastic, you don't want more. Okay, you don't want to just let it be loose as you're pushing it through. You want it you want to pull it so that it's flat and hold it so it's nice and flat. Okay. And my needles are right at that seam and I'm gonna stretch the remaining nice and evenly around the booty and these are the same rules for no matter what size swimsuit you are so a baby swimsuit all the way to plus size I'm gonna snip that off since I have my knife off I'm just gonna snip that off a little bit. you don't want to pull around the front quite a bit around the back. So you can see they give you the same same finish but the serger is a little bulkier that thread is a little bit bulkier so some people prefer it prefer the zigzag and now I'm gonna move to my cover stitch to finish, sorry if I make you dizzy, move to my cover stitch to finish off. And you can do this with a zigzag on your machine too. I would show you both ways, but um, I don't have any thread that matches this. I looked before I started. I don't have any thread that matches this for my regular machine. So, cover stitch 
only. You're just going to take your elastic and fold it right at the elastic. Nice and easy. Right at the elastic. Now when you top stitch, it's really important to top stitch along this inner edge. If you top stitch closer to this edge, you're going to find your elastic wants to flip like this. So turn it over and you want to um, top stitch. It's just like a hem. Just like a hem, just the elastic's inside. You want to top stitch right along that inner edge. My cover stitch has actually been acting up a little bit, so let's see if it will behave for the video. I always like to sink my needles in before I start anything. So, moving along the front is nice and easy because we didn't stretch at all, so you're just sailing along on the front. When you get to the back, and it's gathered, and see where I stretched so much to gather the fabric, you're going to pull it until it's just flat. You don't want to overstretch it and stretch out your fabric. But you want to pull it so that there's no wrinkles in your stitches. If you just top stitch it like this with all the gathers, you're going to lose a lot of stretch of your fabric because your um your top stitch isn't going to want to stretch. So your fabric's going to stretch and then you're going to pop stitches. So you want to pull it just where it's flat. And top stitch while it has no gathers. That way, when your fabric stretches, your stitches won't pop. Swimwear and athletic wear um, have a lot of negative ease in them, meaning they're smaller than your body. It really stretches while you're moving. Okay. And I'll just show you what it looks like when it's done. I'm going to turn this off so maybe it will focus a little bit better. So there's the front where we didn't stretch at all. And there's the inside. You'll see it's top stitched right on that inner edge. And then I'll move along to the back and I'll show you what it looks like too. So the back is gathered when it's not on. Your booty will fill it out. And then there's the inside again gathered, but top stitched right on that inner edge. And um, my stitches are a lot closer on the back because I stretched it and then top stitched it on. So my stitches can now stretch here and even further. If I would have just top stitched it like this, it would have only been able to stretch a little bit. It wouldn't have been able to stretch all the way without popping seams. That's why it's really important when you top stitch to stretch it just until it's flat. All right, guys. I hope more of you can be empowered to sew up a swimsuit, even if you start with a youth swimsuit first to practice and then move on to one for yourself.